Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Yeah, this is uh, the Pearlo dance. See, I got my shirt on backwards. My my daughter made this for me. Eh, we like to do it on the live stream NHL Pearls of Wisdom show. I'm gonna have some free picks for you, and I've been playing around with how I'm gonna do this. Uh, apparently. The way I was doing it before, people weren't fond of it since they unsubscribed. <laughs> so I'm going to go in a different direction. I'm going to just uh, give the sides. Though, uh, sort of similar to what Best Bet Ed. If you know, if you don't know Best Bet Ed, go check him out. He's fantastic. I, I like he's, he's a great hockey capper. I'm going to do what he does. I'm going to give sides uh, based on my early thinking on each game. And... Uh, for all the games. I'm just going to do it for all the games. Now, I will have to say, these things can change. Uh, it's it's As the day goes on, I get goaltender confirmations and all of those sort of things like that. So I'd highly recommend you go to my Patreon, BPOW Picks. Just get the Patreon app or um, Google Patreon and search BPOW Picks. And you will find me there because I change it. I, I don't put picks in till sometimes later in the day, parlays, all of that. And we're going to look at some of the money you could be making if you were on that Patreon app. Now, if you want to become a uh, member of not Patreon, but member of the Perlo community, uh, you can. we can set up an email transfer. I have several clients that do that. They pay me uh, $10 for a parlay and a pick and $5 for just a pick. And then sometimes they want extra picks, so I, try, I give them $5 as well. Here's the thing, though. If they don't win, they don't pay. You don't pay if you don't win. You only pay if you win. That's because I'm just really confident in my picks. And uh, I don't want you to, well, I mean, I haven't really did my job if you didn't win, right? way I look at it. Okay, the NHL Pearl of Wisdom show between uh, 1 and 3 Eastern weekdays. Come check it out. I talk about it all the time. Also, if you sub to the channel, I do live pick. Sometimes I just come on live and talk about my picks, and you can get all the picks that way. So there's some ways to get some free picks out of me right there. Okay, let's look at uh, the picks for this is the 1st of November. Okay, Washington and Tampa Bay, uh, the line on that. Um, I think I'm going to go, as it stands right now, I'm going to probably go Tampa Bay here. Uh, Tampa Bay plays better when they're playing against stiffer competition. I tend to go against them with lesser competition. Like both of these teams like to play down to their competition. Uh, I don't think Tampa Bay is playing down too much here to Washington. It's a big game, and I think they'll pull it through at home. Uh, Ottawa versus Chicago. Uh, this one's interesting because Kane is coming back today, apparently. Um, again, I don't know who the goaltenders are going to be in this uh, game. Ottawa's on a back-to-back. -back. I have a kind of an idea what's going to happen here, but if uh, – uh, I'm just going to say that with Kane coming back, depending on the goaltender, I have a feeling Chicago is going to pull this one out. Uh, again, if you want to hear, I have sides, on, I have uh, totals on these games as well. If you want to hear that, just head over to my Patreon or you can message me also at 780-690-1995 if you'd like to do it that way. I'll put that down in the comment section. You can email me at pearlsofwisdom1212 at gmail.com. That's pearlsofwisdom1212 at gmail.com. Uh, so I'm going to go Chicago. Seattle and Edmonton, this seems like a gimme, right? But Seattle has been playing extremely well at home. Uh, there's a possibility I, I saw, like if I go to uh, my uh, left wing lock it's showing that Smith might start this game so as it stands I'm probably going to stick with Edmonton but honestly I'm not super confident about it 
Um, I'm going to continue up into November, uh, uh, into tomorrow's games as well. Very early leans on tomorrow. I may do a video when I have more clarification on goaltenders and stuff like that. Uh, Montreal versus Detroit. Montreal, I think Montreal is playing better. Uh, and Bertuzzi won't be able to play this game because he's not allowed to go in Canada without getting vaxxed. Interesting, uh, inter very interesting game here. Uh, Allen has been struggling, though. And I think Nedeljkovic will be in. I don't know which one they've decided to go with most is Grice or Nedeljkovic. I think I would go with Grice right now. But I'm going to go Detroit for now. Uh, I need a lot more information yet before I go really make a pick here. But if you got to lean on it and this helps you, I'll go with Detroit. Arizona, Philadelphia. Now, Arizona is playing a much better defensive game than they have in quite some time. And uh, Vigelnik, or Val, Val, I always, I can't get his name right. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about <laughs> that guy's name. Has been playing very well as well. Philadelphia is coming off a long road trip. First game off of a road trip. So one thing I will help you out with here for sure is I wouldn't go nuts on this. Uh, it's I would I'm pro, I'm still going to go Philadelphia, but I don't think I would go nuts on this game. Uh, the first game back off of a road trip for any team is tough. If uh, they went and played difficult competition uh, up until now, they I could possibly see them playing down to Arizona here, um, kind of looking past them. So. Some, just something to think about. Uh, Vegas versus Toronto. Um, Toronto is starting to get their mojo going a little bit. Uh, it's goaltending. I don't know if they're going to go back to Mirajic or Campbell, but it's very inconsistent. Um, Vegas, on the other hand, um, I, Stone is back. This is a difficult game. I'm gonna. I think it's like almost like a coin flip. So I'm going to go Toronto at home. Ottawa versus Minnesota. Minnesota. Ottawa will be on a back-to-back, -back, so I'll go Minnesota here. Uh, Dallas versus Winnipeg. Dallas is struggling to score. Um, Winnipeg is not real, still playing up to where their talent level should be. Um, it'll help when they get uh, some injuries back there, no doubt about it. But right now they have Wheeler back. It's uh, not having Shifley is a pro big problem for them. But that being said, with Dallas struggling, I'm going to take Winnipeg on the road. Nashville versus Calgary. I think Calgary will keep on rolling here. Nashville's a tough out, very tough out. But the thing is, is Nashville's strength is also Calgary's strength. And that's resiliency and working your butt off. That's what they're doing right now. They're outworking the opposition. So all things being equal in work ethic, I think that Calgary just has the better mojo and the more players that can put put the puck in the net. Um, it'd be interesting to see the goaltending for this one too. Uh, New Jersey versus Anaheim. This this is tough because Anaheim is really flying right now. I would. New Jersey had an exceptional game against Pittsburgh though, and they're playing very well. I'm going to lean New Jersey. I'm going to lean New Jersey on that one. Uh, Rangers versus Vancouver. Uh, I, I just have no faith in Vancouver right now. I'm going to go the Rangers. And Buffalo versus San Jose. This could be the one that uh, a Buffalo. This could be the one that put, starts to put Buffalo down a little bit. I think San Jose has a. They play kind of a keep away game, and that's really Buffalo's weakness. They're going to keep on working hard, and they're going to outwork you. But if a team plays uh, uh, exceptional good, exceptionally good passing, which I wouldn't say San Jose is exceptionally good, but they're very good passers. And they can keep the puck away from Buffalo quite a bit here. I'm going to go San Jose on that one. Again, all of these could possibly change. Sub yourself up. I'll send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace. Perlocopter right to your door. I, I just did the Perlo dance and you couldn't see me because I didn't have the thing on yet. There you go. Perlocopter right to your door. 
by Hernandez or Melissa. Uh, so there's that. Just that is a great sub reason to sub up, right? Uh, comment in the comment section what you have for your picks here. Uh, I like going back and forth and seeing who's got it. And not to mention, I learn a lot from my live show. We don't necessarily, it's not like a betting show. It's about all things hockey, but you can come on and talk about some teams that you think are winning or not winning or whatever the case may be. But we talk about everything that happened in the league that day. So come on, between three and five, I'd love to have you. That's my full 42. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.